Hi everyone, so my name is Audrey and when I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with scoliosis. It was a very hard experience for me to go through. When I had found out, they had to put all the girls, it was PE class in 7th or 8th grade, and they had put all the girls um, like in a line and had them take off their shirt and then they let you know if you have scoliosis or not by running their hand down your spine or just looking at you when you bend over. And they had told me that I had scoliosis and I had no idea. I wasn't in any pain. Uh, I was just kind of in shock. And so I went home and I told my parents and then we decided to go to UC Davis and get x-rays done and try to see, you know, what were the next steps, what we could do. So I went to UC Davis and I got x-rays done and I found out that I had a lumbar curve right here, which is my largest curve that is about 40 two degrees and then my thoracic curve right here was in the 20s and I was basically on the verge of um, getting surgery they said that I was at the point where it was my decision um, if it was up over 45 degrees at the time then they told you you needed surgery but for me, it was just highly recommended. And I had already passed the stages of my life where my body was mostly already grown. So a brace at that time, they said, wouldn't do me any good. So I... That was a really hard day for me. I felt... Like, I didn't want to get surgery. I mean, that surgery is very serious, and I did a lot of research on it, and about it's about 50-50. I mean, half the people have great results, and they feel great, and the other half have more serious problems usually than they had before. They end up having to have more surgeries after, um, some of the bars and metal rods that they put in them, some of them raw, and it's just disturbing that they just confuse your body together, put metal rods in you, where when that should be the last option. It doesn't need to be the first option. So it really just irritates me and makes me mad more than anything that they are still recommending surgery to 15 year olds and 16 year olds as you know the number one thing for them to do whereas they I feel like they should be like okay here are the options you know you could try out um, physical therapy, a brace, a chiropractor, whatever like no they're like, you need to get surgery with a lot of people so that just really bothers me because I don't think surgery is the answer at all at times so anyways after I was diagnosed I was like I don't want to go to surgery you know I'm not in any pain what what should I do so I started going to a chiropractor and the chiropractor helped me my degrees had improved but then I had moved away and I stopped going to him so my degrees kind of went back to how they were before. I started doing yoga a lot. I found, I even um, started teaching yoga. I was really passionate about it and it made my body feel better, stretched out and um, it made my mind more at peace. I really enjoy yoga. I love yoga. But I noticed that, say I did yoga in the evening and then I went and had dinner with some friends and I would be sitting 
in a chair for, you know, longest 20 minutes. And even though I just did yoga, I would start to be in really bad pain just in 20 minutes. And so I just knew that something wasn't right. I was having trouble sleeping because I was in so much pain that I couldn't find a comfortable position in the bed. I would wake up. Um, my neck started hurting really bad and my shoulder right here so I, I would like hold myself here all the time I would try to massage it I would use tennis balls heating pads I took a million baths um, I would go and get massages which helped a lot anyways I tried a lot of different things and I did a lot of research and I started finding that they started coming out with new methods in the US um, such as the Clear Institute and Scoliosis Boot Camp and other methods but there's this one method that really caught my eye and it started in Germany by a woman that had scoliosis and so I kept researching and trying to find a Schroth method, Schroth, the Schroth method is what it was called, a Schroth method um, teacher that was close to me. And one day I was in so much pain that I like started researching like crazy person. And I found a woman that was close to me that taught the Schroth method. And I decided I was going to try to raise money to try to do this program. And I ended up raising enough money, which is really awesome, to do this program. And it changed my life. It changed my life for the better. And I, I did this program. It was only a four-day program. Okay, and at the time, my neck and shoulder were actually in the most pain. Not my back or anything. It was my neck and shoulder. And there was a couple of stretches that this woman had shown me. One of them being just simply move my right shoulder down or back and down. So back and down, back and down. That was the exercise. And also, um, there was another part with my neck, which um, I can go into more later, but at the end of the just four days, by doing little adjustments and exercises myself, I didn't need a chiropractor cracking my neck for me, I didn't need to go to a massage place or somewhere and get acupuncture done and have them massage me in a certain way. I could just do simple stretches on my own and no joke, 80% of my pain was removed in just those four days in this particular area, just talking about this area. And not being in pain feels amazing. Like. It's amazing not to be in pain. And anyways, so I feel like crazy passionate about this method because it changed my life and I want to help spread the word of this method, especially in the US and help those other people my age that, or not even my age, a lot of people have scoliosis, younger and older, that really don't want to do surgery either and that are searching for another method and that are in a lot of, or even if you have done surgery by the way, you can still do the Schroth method. A lot of people that have had surgery have benefited from the Schroth method in many ways. But the videos that I'm want to be making is videos on specifically me and my body but just showing you um, kind of what the Schroth method is like and what's it about because not that many people know about it. It's still pretty new 
And so I'll be featuring um, ways that um, benefit sleeping, ways to sit, even going into as far as more comfortable ways to sit in your car, um, at a desk if you work, standing. Um, also, I will be making videos on ways to breathe when you're concentrating on your breath and working on your breath. So, focusing on breathing through your concave areas, starting it in your diaphragm, and meditation. And mainly, I will be showing stretches that I will be doing with the Shroth method. And yeah, so. My hope is that these videos will help people out there that are suffering like I was suffering with scoliosis and hopefully change their life like this has changed my life for the better and make them just happier and healthier and more comfortable with themselves every single day. And so yeah. I hope you continue watching my videos and that they really help you or someone that you know. Thanks.